So hello, what have Sound Prism and Pac-Man in common? In Pac-Man, if you move Pac-Man to a gate at the top of the screen, it appears at the bottom. And if you move Pac-Man to a gate at the bottom of the screen, Pac-Man appears at the top. And the same we implemented in Sound Prism. Here you see a chord, and this chord is represented by the white rectangle and the three uh, bright points. And if I move my finger now to the top, you can see that the white rectangle here appears at the bottom again. And this shows that the upper end and the lower end of the pitch space you see here, that is the green area, is glued together. And why did we this? Because the most interesting chords, um, or one of the most interesting chords, are here at the point of intersection between upper and lower end. I will show some of these chords. For example, the diminished chord, it's here. You can see it is at the intersection between upper and lower point. Or the dominant seventh chord. It's this chord here. Or the subdominatic uh, sixth chord. It's this here, or the major subdominant sixth chord, it's this here. This chord is also called Sixte Agité, it's a very often used chord. And with the help of these chords that are at the point of intersection between upper and lower end, you can create very interesting chord cadences, for example. Or another. If you want to test these things, check out Sound Prism and try it for yourself. I think you will encounter many very interesting chord combinations and cadences. Thank you.